Piech is the man pulling the strings. He's a successful engineer and a lover of fine cars, just like his renowned grandfather, Ferdinand Porsche. Whether it's a one liter or a 1001 horsepower Bugatti, they're all fun to drive. And Piech wants to have the final word as the powerful chairman of Volkswagen. He wants VW to take over Porsche and to fulfill his lifelong dream of turning VW into the world's largest automaker. Ferdinand Dudenhofer used to work at Porsche. That's where he met Piech, who owns 10% of the company. His real goal is to outdo his grandfather Ferdinand Porsche in fame and accomplishments. He wants to be immortal. Instead of dying, he'll just go to engineer heaven. Piech would only approve a merger of VW and Porsche with Volkswagen CEO Martin Winterkorn at the top. And to do that, he has to get rid of Porsche's chief executive, Wendelin Wiedeking. Wiedeking has become a rival. He is professional and self-confident, just like Piech. In the 1990s, it was Wiedeking who turned the bankrupt Porsche into a highly profitable sports car maker. He strives for total control, not just in engineering. He's focusing on profitability, which is always of primary importance to a company. Today, Porsche is facing 9 billion euros in debt, money that Wiedeking blew in buying up VW stock on the open market in an attempt to secretly take over the larger car company. Just two months ago, his stake in VW was almost 75%. We've been building up our stake for three years and will continue to. We won't be pressured by any outside influence into taking steps that aren't economically sound. But the takeover attempt failed. Now Wiedeking has to face VW CEO Martin Winterkorn, and he's protected by Ferdinand Piech. Winterkorn is PS choice for boss of the potential merged corporation VW Porsche. And that's not least because Volkswagen is posting respectable results right in the middle of the financial crisis. The stakes are high regardless of whether a merger or takeover of Porsche is in the offing. Believe me, the VW board continues to be in the driver's seat. But there may be room for two at the top. Experts say Winterkorn and Wiedeking could balance each other out. The way Winterkorn will always go is to drive the technology forward, and that's important. And Wiedeking would hold him off, saying, fine, but how do we go about it so that we take all the customers with us? But that would weaken Ferdinand Piech's influence, which he will do everything in his power to prevent. Because this battle seems to hinge on vanity and personal power.